Hey my Libra loves, welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you for coming through, clicking on the video. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back, all right? Let's go ahead and get into the messages, see what comes out, what you guys need to know or be aware of at this time, um, and what you may need clarity and or confirmation of, okay? Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Spirit, God, Spirit, Team of the Highest White Light, please be with me through this reading for my Libra Collective, Soul Tribe, Soul Fam. I pray that no weapon for the justice shall prosper. Please block or remove any evil or negative energy and or um, spell work that may be being sent this way. And please protect me and guide me as I channel the messages for Libra's highest good. I shame, man. All right, Libra's soul. Let's get into it. Next 48. Reading the box. Okay. see next 48 libra it'll be 48 hours from the time that you watch this reading okay 48 hours from the time that you watch this reading these are just messages that you need to know or be aware of okay next 48 i'm hearing something about a drama or a dance teacher or a coach or a significant other I'm hearing Penelope and Penelope Cruz. I think that's an actress, if I'm not mistaken. You know, dog walker or dog walking. You may be walking your dog, or somebody could be a dog walker. You may see a dog walker. Maybe somebody's gonna see an ad for a dog walker. Maybe you're looking, you're job searching, and you see an ad for a dog walker or something. I'm also hearing Presbyterian Church. All right, so somebody could, something about a Presbyterian church, I don't know. All right. I'm hearing the song, Jesus Walks by Kanye West. Next 24 for Libra. All right, there's something going on with a, with a cheater. I was about to say with a scandal. Did I say with a cheater? I meant with a cancer. <laughs> Maybe I meant what I said. It does say cheating on here on the bottom of the deck, okay? So, there's something going on with a cancer or with a cheater, okay? Now, this could be a cancer who is cheating. This could be a person that was caught cheating. Maybe during cancer season. Maybe they are a cancer. Maybe they have cancer placements in the chart. But something about a, a cheating scandal or cancer. Okay. We have wife. So somebody's wife could have been cheating. May could be significant. And Capricorn, December. So December, Capricorn. Somebody's baby mama or baby daddy child that could have got caught up in a hotel or something about a hotel. Mm-hmm. All right. What else for Libra in the next 24? I don't know what they got to do with y'all, Libra, but... Okay, something flipped over. I think it was July. So that's Cancer energy. July is it's Cancer, right? Cancer Gemini energy. Yeah. So could be a Cancer, a, a a July Cancer. No, July is Cancer Leo energy. So I don't know. The July Cancer could be significant. It is July. All right. Next twenty four for Libra. Next twenty four. I mean forty eight. Okay, we're doing next 24, right? Next 24 for Libra. Somebody that drives a black, blue, or red car is significant. Could be you, could be someone else, all right? Okay, so it looks like something about April and significant. You could have met somebody in April. Somebody that you, that you met in April... Or maybe in August, or maybe you could be dealing with um, a Leo or a Virgo. Or I always forget, what's April? Like Taurus, Aries or something? Taurus, Pisces, Aries or Taurus or something like that. Um, there's a yes here and a congratulations in order, but you have somebody that is jealous here. So it looks like 
feels like you've met your person, Libra, or you will be meeting your person. Um, and y'all may be tying a knot or something may be happening here. Sagittarius. Oh, uh, there's a Sagittarius that... Mm -mm. Yeah, don't don't go there with the Sagittarius. There's Taurus marriage, yeah. So something about Taurus season or a Taurus, but a Sagittarius may stand you up, okay? You may plan a date or something, um, a meetup or something like that with a Sagittarius and they may stand you up. They may cancel plans or you may have to postpone or something like that, okay? It looks like there's something that's going to be good going on for you. You're going to be celebrating something and somebody's going to be jealous. Somebody could be getting a new car or... um. Or this is like you being in some type of relationship here. I'm also getting the energy that um, somebody that, like, if you're with somebody or you meet somebody new or whatever, they could have cheated on their ex or their ex could have cheated on them. And now this person is, like, jealous that they're in a real connection. Okay? So, yeah, I don't know. Somebody name could be Curtis. Here in James. Somebody name could be James. Next 24 for Libra. All right, that's all we're going to take from this one. All right, the, the initials B, N, F, H, K, O, or C could be significant. Magnetic attraction. Ooh. Mm -mm. So somebody with these initials are attracted to you. B, N, F, H, K, O, or C, first, last, or middle initials. This person or somebody is not feeling happy or being satisfied in the in the current situation that they're in, whether they're single and lonely and unhappy, or whether they're in in a relationship with somebody and they're unhappy. Somebody's not currently happy or being satisfied in their current situation. Okay, and this could be somebody that is, um is attracted to you or you attracted to this person. Um, I feel like this could be like a friend or something or. I don't know. It's like the dynamic is kind of weird. It's like a friend of the family or like your brother's best friend or your sister's friend or something like that. And somebody or, or like if you're in a relationship, it's like a mutual friend and somebody could be accusing you or somebody of like dealing with this person. But it's like false accusations is showing up here. So it's like there's an attraction there to like a third party energy. But it's not being acted on, but it's like, just say, okay, so for example, you're in a relationship, okay? Um, I'm going to say you're a female. You're in a relationship with a male, okay? You, you two have a mutual, let's say a girl, let's say a girlfriend, your best friend, okay, or a neighbor or something, and you guys are mutual friends, okay? Your person and this friend this third party is a, are attracted to each other okay they could be talking to each other about you know how your person is unsatisfied in the relationship and this could bring about some type of false accusations like oh you must be sleeping with them you must be da -da 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 -da. they're not doing it i don't feel like they're doing it yeah look 21 questions you're asking a lot of questions okay trying to get down to the bottom of something but i don't feel like anything Ooh, child, divorce lord very tempted hold on a second capricorn may and wife Oh, so I feel like initially something wasn't going on, but then, you know, maybe on down the line, something got deeper. Somebody got too tempted. Um, it feels like nothing's going on maybe until, you know, the, the divorce or something, but there was still accusations. So it was, I don't know, child. It, that's, hold on a second. Somebody that could be Maya, Kat, Danita, Donovan, Vicky, Victor, Eddie, Elise, Farah, Marsha, Gwen, Harry, Isaiah, India, or Anise. Let me pull. Let me see. Let me see. So you got romantic feelings. I just saw it. Ooh. Okay, so somebody has been in their head about something. It's time for the truth to come out. 
Damn, that came out. It's time for the truth to come out. Yeah, somebody's been hiding something in their relationship or somebody was in a secret relationship. But I feel like more so somebody's been hiding how they really feel. And the truth is going to come out and be exposed. There it is. Third party. Mm-hmm. Third party. I'm hearing Grant. So I think it'd be Grant. Yeah, look. Secret crush and romantic feelings. Everything that I just said. But this person was waiting on a divorce first before they ever acted upon those feelings. They were in a toxic relationship here. Yep, and new love. So, yeah. So, I feel like I don't know this could be confirmation for somebody. These people weren't dealing with each other while the other one was involved with someone but there definitely was an attraction there there probably were some conversations that shouldn't have been happening i don't know but it seems like somebody waited until after they broke up with someone or divorced from someone in order to act upon some type of like feelings or emotions or something like that okay february could be significant all right and something about the next few days Somebody's going to, you're going to get a call or a text or a phone call in the next few days. Somebody's name is Mark, Joshua, Larry, Howard, Melvin, or Huey. Okay, so be prepared for that. April could be significant again. All right, next 24. What else for next 24 for Libra? Oh, okay. You're on a path to self-discovery. There's somebody that you need to block. All right. Next 24 for Libra. Get some surveillance cameras around your house. Something about the color gray could be significant. Somebody's name could be significant. Or a gray car. Somebody may have gray security cameras, like silver or gray. <laughs> All right. So somebody is like childish. Somebody could also be abusive. Okay. Yeah. Protect your energy because you got somebody that is talking behind your back or will be talking behind your back. Talking about your business. Like, like you know, telling your business. Okay, something about snacks. Snacks. Something about snacks. Alright. Next 24 for Libra. Okay, so you have financial stability. They are miserable without you, and someone likes you and wants to take you out on a date. I'm hearing Charles or Charleston. Is that Charleston, like West Virginia? Or Charleston, Charleston, Massachusetts? Charleston something. Somebody lives in Charleston. Could be somebody's name, too. So somebody, um, they, this person, there's somebody here that is financially stable. Okay. Um, they could have ghosted you or I don't know, they could, you know, you, you guys stop dealing with each other. You have no contact because they were trying to get their finances together. But, um, this person, they're miserable without you. They miss you. Okay. So it looks like somebody does have their finances together. They are financially stable and they thought that, you know, that's what they needed in order to like, I hear, I'm hearing clear their conscience and in order to make them happy, but, uh, they still are miserable without you and they want to reach out to you. That's so they may be that person that you hear from in a few days. This person wants to go out, take you out on a date or ask you out or, or maybe they just want to meet up and talk or something. And look, I'm going to keep trying until you talk to me. So this person is going to be very persistent, whoever this is. Okay. It's like somebody left you alone or you had to leave someone alone. And they were getting their finances together during the separation. But they find out that they're still miserable without you, even though they have their finances together now. So now this person wants to reach out. So you may hear from them in the next 24 or... Um, that's the person that you'll hear from in the next few days. So you got somebody that's obsessed. Their ex is jealous of you. The third party is still in the picture. You're focused on your achievements, your money, your finances, your family, your life, your healing and things like that. You're focused on you, okay? Um, yes, yeah, you're focused on you. Somebody feels like it's easier to come back 
to you than to like start over with someone new okay so yeah i don't know you got a friend around you that you need to not trust stop telling them shit they're nosy as fuck this person is trying to control you in some type of way all right um and you have um somebody's ex is jealous of you so this could be somebody that you're currently dealing with um, and there's a third party that's still in the picture. I feel like it's just an obsessed ex that's still around that wants to, you know, that wants some attention, but whatever. But. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I am not going to read all these. It's like 20, 30 cards that fell down here. I see something about a new home. Somebody could be plotting against you and your new home, okay? Somebody's um, mask is going to come off. Somebody's being fake and phony, all right? You got somebody just willing to kiss your ass. They, they've seen this fake and phony person. They just want to be around you, cloud chasing, and want to kiss your ass, okay? Somebody could be getting a new job or a new career. You could be auditioning for something or, like, interviewing for something. Yeah, they're missing you right now, like I said. Um, yeah, this is somebody that treated you like a um, an option, okay? Yeah, you got somebody cutting all your business. I just said that. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, Libra. That's what I have for you. I think anything else, Spirit? Let's pull some tarot. Okay, I'm hearing investing in your future. So you may be thinking about investing in your future or how you can invest in your future or improve your future or, you know, you, you do. It's, it's like you're doing a lot of thinking in the next 24 hours about how you can, um, about your future, okay? Something about investing in your future. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles and Ace of Swords, okay? Huh. So the Ten of Pentacles is like I'm um, getting like about abundance, financial stability. Oh, okay, that's that person. They're gonna come in and tell you the truth. Okay, they want to invest in the future with you. Somebody wants to invest in the future with you. Nah, I feel like you're blocking this person off. Aries could be significant. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, the Gemini. Um, yeah. What else for Libra next 24? I'm here in San Francisco. What else for Libra next 24? I'm hearing these are my confessions. Just when the blood fell on the pussy. Yeah, somebody's been hiding their feelings from you or for you. They've been hiding them. Why is the moon cloud here? Oh my gosh, I was just about to say justice being received or something like that. And look, the justice card jumped out. I was, it was on the tip of my tongue. It's like somebody wants to hold, like take accountability for something or hold up for something or make something right or fix something, heal something here. Okay, again, could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Could be a Pisces, Aquarius, Cancer. I'm hearing Scorpio as well. I'm like seeking validation from you. See something flipped over here. Okay. Six of one. There's you're you're on the right path. This is re, like reiterating everything that I just said. So confirmation that you're on the right path. You're gonna have some type of victory and success, achievements in something here. Okay. You are on well on the path to that. I've seen you having some type of recognition. You could be someone that has like a platform um or something like that. Like it's gonna take off. You're gonna be very popular. A lot of people are seeing you and loving you and praising you and things like that here, okay? And you just got somebody here that wants to come in and confess their feelings for you. They wanna start over, they want a fresh start. I don't know if you're feeling that, but that's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, this could be somebody that betrayed you. They regret betraying you now. Yeah. Mm, I, I don't feel like you're gonna, yeah. They put you through too much, whoever this is. All right, Libra. Finances, okay. Let's see what's going on with your finances in the next 24. Next 48. I'm hearing 17 hours. 
17 days. 17 could be significant. I'm hearing clear your energy. Okay. What's going on with Libra's finances in the next 48? What's going on with Libra's finances in the next 48? So some of y'all, I don't know. I'm getting 24, I'm getting 48. So just take it however it is. Libra. Are these messages are good for the next 24 to 48 hours, all right? Keep in mind that these are general. They're not going to be for every single person. What's going on with Libra's finances in the next 48? Some of you may be walking away from a situation, walking away from a job, but this may be because you have something new coming in here, something more lucrative, all right? You may be walking in right into some type of good news here, good fortune. Doing something that you love. There's something about doing something that you love. You hear the next seven days are significant. Uh, full card. I'm hearing repetition. Something about repetition. Okay, nine of pentacles, queen of pentacles, success. Okay, okay. It looks like something is going to be working out for you. Like you're, you're going to be in a very, either like a very abundant state of mind, like mindset, or you're going to be, I don't know, but the earthly, the, the coins always give me physical. So this is this something physical. Doing something you love. You may be a boss, something celebrating. Oh yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so your finances may be looking good. I don't know, y'all could just be getting a paycheck on Friday. Like, I don't know. Um, or maybe you get your paycheck early. Maybe you get a raise or a bonus or something. Um, if you own like a business, I mean, a celebrity, like celebrity clients, top stylist or something like that. So that could be for somebody. Libra's finances next week. Okay. And triple threat the lovers okay so somebody's gonna have a choice to make but like do you stay or do you go do you stay um somewhere where you have like a sure thing where you got income coming in for sure or do you venture on to something new to take a leap of faith and try to you know establish your own journey your own career um become an entrepreneur do something that you have been wanting to do for a long time all right it's like do i stay put do i stay here or do i take a leap of faith and take my chances elsewhere or doing something that i you know really want to do i'm here to say almost fire Tell me about the food card. What's going to happen if Libra takes this leap of faith? What's going to happen if Libra takes this leap of faith? What's going to happen? Please, Spirit, if Libra takes this leap of faith. Oh. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So it looks like things may get off to like a slow start. Because the Knight of Pentacles is like the slowest energy of the deck, but it's slow and steady. You know how they say slow and steady wins the race. And I feel like you're going to end up in this King of Pentacles energy. So things may start off slow. You may have already been, um, you may have already been working on something. Like I said, oh, Nine of Pentacles again. So if you're an entrepreneur, you have your own business, your own, I don't know, podcast, YouTube channel, clothing line, whatever, Okay. It, it looks like things have been getting off to a really slow start. So what it looks like is that you're you're going to be put in a position to where you can be, where you can make the decision of like, okay, if I stay here with guaranteed money, benefits, whatever, whatever, I can do that or I can pursue what I love to do full time, pursue my thing full time, my business, um, my venture, whatever, full time. It looks like it's going to be very lucrative here for you. Okay. Um, I do see success here with the a right with the right amount of time and effort and energy put into this thing, okay? Because the pinnacles again are the slowest energies of the deck. So it's like not not gonna happen. It's just not gonna take off like that. And if you guys 
have already been putting time and effort and energy into something here, then I feel like it's about to take off. But if you're just getting started, it may be a little slow, okay? But you're going to have that decision to make. It's completely up to you. You can decide to do one or the other or both or neither, okay? So, all right, Libra, I'm going to leave it here. I hope it helped. I will see you guys in another reading. Bye.